Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Egyptian authorities have this weekend announced the discovery of mummified big cats, cobras, crocodiles and other interesting finds in Saqqara in Egypt. The cache includes dozens of mummified cats, 75 wooden and bronze cat statues, mummified birds, mongooses, snakes and statues of Egyptian gods. There were also strips of papyrus showing the goddess Tauret as a hippopotamus with the tail of a crocodile. Among the finds are five mummified wildcats, two of which have already been identified as lion cubs, but the remaining three are still being analysed to determine their species. Talking to the press, the head of Egypt's Supreme Council for Antiquities, Mustafa Waziri, said If it's a cheetah, a leopard, a lioness, a panther, whatever, it will be one of its kind. Back in 2004, partial skeletal remains of a lion were discovered beneath the Saqqara necropolis sands and this new discovery is close by. The experts hope it will provide new information about how the ancient Egyptians used animals in worship. This is the first time that a complete mummy of a lion or lion cub has been found in Egypt and analysis is ongoing. The cubs are quite small, about 3 feet in length, and therefore they were not fully grown at their time of death. As well as the cubs and the three unidentified wildcats, there were a further 20 mummies of smaller cats in the tomb. Wooden and tin glazed statuettes of the cat-headed goddess Sekhmet were also found, as well as statues of the ancient goddess Bastet and other gods. Most were painted, well decorated, and some were inlaid with gold. There were also many other finds including decorated boxes. A rare large stone scarab was also uncovered, which Mustafa Waziri said is the largest ever discovered, measuring around a foot or 30 centimetres in size. According to the press reports, experts believe that mummified animals were offerings to the gods, gods who as we know were often depicted as animals. Dr. Salima Ikram from the American University of Cairo said, this would have more potency as a blood sacrifice compared to stone or wooden images. It was a small ebony statue of the goddess Neith which helped archaeologists date the tomb to the 26th dynasty between 664 and 525 BC, a time when we know that Saqqara was once again a major focal point in Egypt. Neith was the goddess of the city of Sais, which was the capital of Egypt during the 26th dynasty. Dr. Ikram said, I think it's one of the most exciting series of finds in the world of animal mummies ever, and the Egyptian authorities hope that this and other new discoveries in recent months will spark new interest in Egypt, ahead of the opening of the Grand Egyptian Museum next year. Mummified cats are frequent discoveries in Egypt, but mummified lions are incredibly rare. Radar scans are currently being carried out on the three other mummified wildcats to find out the species, so we will learn more in due course. Saqqara was a cat hotspot, and in the late period of Egyptian history, it is widely believed that it was dedicated to the Egyptian goddess Bastet, as well as her son, the lion god Myesis. Due to the Old Kingdom architecture, such as the Third Dynasty Steppe Pyramid of Djoser, it is possible that Saqqara may have also been home to the cult of the lion god Acre, a popular deity in the Old and Middle Kingdoms of Egyptian history. As we edge closer to the opening of the Grand Egyptian Museum, I am expecting a lot more discoveries in the coming months, and recent news reports suggest we are just weeks away from finding the tomb of the 18th Dynasty Queen Nefertiti, as well as other royal consorts and children. If I see any breaking stories, I'll be reporting them here on Ancient Architects. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.